Hello there. This is LEGO Dynasty, and today I'm bringing you guys my review of the LEGO Marvel Avengers Rocket Mech Armor. It is set number 76243, comes with 98 pieces, and is rated ages 6 and up. Now this set retails in the United States for $14.99 US and $19.99 Canadian. Now without further ado, let's kick off this review, starting with the box. Take a look at the box, you have the Rocket Mech Armor flying into space or onto a moon, it looks like, on the box art, which looks pretty cool. You have the Marvel Avengers on the side here, you know, Captain Marvel, Black Panther, Captain America, Iron Man, and the Hulk, which is pretty nice. Uh, though I would love to see them do what they did with some of the, you know, Eternals, and um, I believe they also did for the Doctor Strange set, where they had these in Lego form on one side, and then in their comic counterparts or movie counterparts on the other. Just something I liked. You have the Avengers logo on the bottom of the back, and you have Rocket staying outside the Mac armor, as you can see, which looks pretty good. Taking a look at the manual, as you can see, uh, it is a rendered image, which, again, going to constantly repeat, uh, but I just don't think the rendered images look great, in my opinion. It doesn't take anything away from the building experience, though these used to be uh, the box art reprinted on, which I just think look like a more premium product. And in the back, uh, and I bring this up when I see it, like, this set has no advertising of any other sets. It's just been something very interesting to me when they choose to put advertising in a set and when they don't. Like, um, you'll have seen the previous Star Wars sets that I reviewed, the Star Wars mechs. Uh, those were also six plus sets and they had advertising for the other Star Wars mechs and sets that released alongside it. So it's just interesting that this one doesn't have any advertising of any other LEGO Marvel sets. Now, as you can see, you're left with quite a few extra pieces, though most are for the stud shooter weapon for Rocket's mech. So, but still, left with quite a few extras, which is always nice. Taking a look at the lone minifigure in the set, we have Rocket Raccoon. And I have to say, really nice figure, though most interesting, and probably makes sense, does not have Rocket's tailpiece included uh, that he would attach from the back. Presumably this is just because you would have to take it off anyways to fit inside the mech, but just something that is uh, notable that they just don't include it at all in my opinion. Personally, I think they should have included it uh, just for completion of the character, especially since all the other sets that have him would have the tailpiece, uh, but they obviously just thought it might be annoying for kids uh, and kids might wonder why they can't fit it in with the tail, so that's probably the reason for the decision. I just still think they should have included it. He does have this really nice, you know, weapon, uh, brick built with some different part usage that I just think looks really, really freaking awesome. So definitely nice to have that. Taking a look at the mech itself, absolutely outstanding. Again, you have this other printed element here on the front, which is just awesome to see. Definitely aids in the value of a set like this. Uh, really nicely done here with the hands, as you can see, just outstanding detail. Now the legs on this set, very skinny, uh, I have to say, especially compared to some of the other Star Wars mechs that we uh, recently reviewed that you can find on the channel. So something notable there that they're just, you know, very skinny, uh, but it still works fine. The arm detail uh, just looks outstanding with this weapon here, which I'll show off how it is used in a moment. Uh, back as you can see looks awesome and another surprising reason why they didn't include a tail for the rocket raccoon figure is the mech got a tail piece you know with this birch being used as a tail piece so now with this weapon very easy to use all you have to do is spin it and it will start firing so you just spin this part here and it will start to fire very quickly so chances are you're going to lose all your studs that's why they give you extras as you see just going to leave the three there but definitely a nice play feature, but definitely gonna lose your studs when, if you're shooting it at a random place. Uh, so that's why they give you the extras. Now, when it comes to putting Rocket Raccoon inside, very easily done. As you can see, you just pop that open, place Rocket there, and then close it up, and he is good to go. Now, there isn't really a place for this weapon. Like, there is this one clip on the side, which I guess you can place his gun here. And yeah, like maybe that's where it's supposed to go. Uh, in fact, actually, never mind. It actually is. I can see in the box this uh, part here of the gun is sticking up on the side. So yes, that is where it's supposed to go. Just didn't think it was. Uh, now the so only other thing to bring up is these hands do allow you to fit a figure inside. 
which is definitely nice. I'll just bring up an example. Here's just a random Lego City minifigure, but just to show that you can actually fit a figure inside uh, and you know have it be held by the mech just like that now it's not like perfect like obviously if you shake it but it's just an example of an extra play feature that is nice to have included again not like fully 100 percent but compared to like the star wars mechs as i was mentioning in those videos uh which did not have that ability at all just based on the part usage definitely nice that this one has that ability now when it comes to standing your mech as you can see uh, it looks very like wobbly. I think it's just because the legs are so skinny compared to some of the other mechs. It just looks off. Like it looks like he's, you know, got jittery legs. Uh, overall, it's pretty stable. Like, uh, again, it all depends on how you orient the legs. But if you orient it the right way, it's not going to fall over on you. It just, to me, doesn't look as good as some of the other mechs do. And I think that just comes down to how the legs are just so skinny. The LEGO Rocket Mech Armor is one that probably makes sense uh, for LEGO to make as this is definitely something that Rocket Raccoon would make, whether it was in the comics or the MCU. So in that sense, I guess it gets more of a pass than some of the other mechs that they've made that definitely are just random builds. Of course, again, this is something that hasn't actually happened in either medium, so it's just something LEGO has made up. But on its own, I think this is a good set. Uh, personally, I don't think it's as good as some of the other mechs. Uh, such as the Darth Vader, Boba Fett, or Stormtrooper mech, or even some of the other Marvel mechs that I've reviewed. Uh, definitely not my absolute favorite, but I still think it's an overall good mech set, just not a great mech set. So it's definitely one I would recommend waiting for a sale to pick up. With that being said, that's all my opinion. Let me know your thoughts on the LEGO Marvel Rocket Mech Armor in the comments down below. Are you guys a fan of the LEGO Mech lineup? Or are you not? Please leave a like and subscribe if you have enjoyed, and have a great day everyone.